What is up everybody, Blue Dog 35 here. This is just a quick uh, video. I have successfully retapped the exhaust stud holes, uh, which is in a different video that I recorded a while ago. This uh, is not the factory nut, and this is not the factory washer. Uh, the nut and washer are, um, I believe, uh, one piece thing from the factory. These are just some heavy-duty uh, M10 washers that I got at AutoZone, and then these are also some heavy-duty M10 by 125 nuts that I got at AutoZone. These studs are factory Subaru studs. They were like $2 a piece. Um, I ordered them a while ago. They were actually one of the first things that I ordered from uh, the... Uh, the get-go when I did this so it was a very long time ago or when I started rebuilding this engine it was a very very long time ago but anyways uh, these are the unequal length headers that I am going to be uh, replacing the ones that I have they're actually cracked uh, these are not they will probably be relatively soon but there is no gasket under here um, that is because these are just being test fitted I torqued these down a little bit and nothing super crazy <coughs> excuse me um, and uh, this is just a quick video or kind of quick video uh, to uh, give you some advice on getting these to fit because sometimes they do not fit from uh, the factory these are replica Borla headers they're not really Borlas uh, the welding is like it's better than I could ever do, but it's sloppy and all that crap. This isn't even connected here. It's like, hello. Um, but uh, you you kind of got to bend them a little bit. That's why this gap here is so wide, and uh, all that stuff just to get them to to fit. Um, this one was okay, obviously because the flange is, you know, okay, and then whatever. But you want to use washers because. If you don't use a washer, um, too much of the bolt is hanging over the flange, so you don't really want to, you know, mess that up. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Um, so you want to use a washer, just something that's, you know, roughly the size of the bolt. Uh, this is a 17 millimeter. It is metric, as per usual with Japanese cars. But anyways, I uh, just figured I'd make this quick update. You gotta, you know, spread the legs, I guess. <laughs> to uh to get it to fit if that makes any sense but um yeah this is probably going to be added on to a different video i took um if i do not scrap that video but anyways there we go we'll do a little woo. and then uh obviously these need to come off to go for the engine to go in the car because there's a cross member right there those are the old headers that i need to take off those are equal length and uh yeah so just imagine an entire engine that powers a car fits in that little tiny space. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you are interested in the uh, the process of building this, I have a playlist that this will undoubtedly fall in. Uh, check it out. Sub consider subscribing. Um, like the video, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I also do some other crap, so uh, check those videos out too. All right? Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.